Mr. Speaker, the point of order, I'm governor, make him cranky, no one must receive him, this is a vote long all, now you must give him seven days long, this is a parliament, want them all people long Papua New Guinea, long stick him, the last in bad set, now we debate to all, long next week, Tuesday, where I'm a tradition long, democracy, Mr. Speaker. That the erratic behavior of the electoral commission, the commission is a sign of weakness and can be easily manipulated by how trade influence or rogue elements. Prime Minister, it might make you angry. Can you confirm that your government is manipulating and influencing the electoral commission to act in this erratic behavior? My questions, can the Prime Minister, could it be possible that all international bidders have lost trust in your government? because of this reasons of integrity on yourself with due respect and with, with respect to other uh, ministers of state and the secretary of departments who have been implicated criminally and those are criminal charges against to do with positions of money trying to sabotage one of the biggest events in history this uh, self interest is why he was sacked in the government and still sits in the opposition. The opposition... <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the, the minister is very uneducated. Very uneducated and is, is raising political issues. He should not be personalizing me. You talk on statistics. You want to challenge me on facts and statistics? I've got it here. You talk on policy matters. Don't talk clownish here. This is the house of the people of this country. You made your point of You do not point, attack yeah. me personally. Quite right. Officer. I left the government because of a three billion in the US loan that is eating into the cash flow of this nation. You idiot. Yeah. Good learned opposition leader for his lecturing of the economy and uh, certainly uh, uh, he's got the necessary credentials to speak about as a former treasurer oh, uh, to, to say so and of course as former uh, chairman of uh, IMF, IMF which he referred to and, and World Bank. Uh, what about the speaker? If I a point about the Prime Minister, I humbly ask that I do not need praises. I am a very humble man. I do not want the Prime Minister to continue to say all this nonsense. Answer the questions, take the speaker. The Bami School Mall where confusion areas long APEC meeting. One them true through cost. This is a two blood figure here. And we'll walk him one block and cost here now. Me blood must not got speculation long all these figures here. You justify them cost and talk them. This is the effect that got him kind of benefit all the same come up. Now, me blame the cost him this is the money. Spend him the return blame all the same. Suppose we spend him 200 million kilos in prime minister talk, or 600 million kilos in minister you talk. One of money me go, okay, me blame the spend him all the same, but income, the investment, return by me blame kiss him one kind of same. One billion or two billion, kind of same all must give him. The real cost of APEC meetings is closer to 120 million uh, to host all the meetings. The opposition needs to understand the difference between the APEC budget to host meetings at around 120 million kina and go straight back into our economy. Can the minister verify that cost of 120 million kina that is now changed his topic from uh, his figure from 600 million to what the prime minister said we are building only the apec house which is going to cost 120 million that's publicly already tendered and has been issued 120 million kina by these experiences of other nations who have who have hosted apec philippines giving some idea to verify philippines spend about 10 billion pesos that is about 207 million US dollars. That's about 800 million Kina on hosting APEC in 2015. First case. Second case, China reported to have spent $6 billion to prepare for a 2014 APEC meeting. Number three and last, Russia in Vladivostok original estimate to prepare to host the 2012 APEC meeting was 382 billion rubble, which rubles, which is approximately 606 million US dollars. So when you say you're going to spend 120 million in Papua New Guinea, by what standard are you verifying, Mr. Speaker? 
I know it. I've attended those meetings. I know this. And I'm talking from real facts and figures. Proposition leader, when them two blah, number blah, me, me la talk about them. Me blah, he condemn him this like action blah, government him go next him. Dinner after dinner because I'm wrong. He became all them. All people must have all them one. Being long next 20 years to 30 years to 50 years and 100 years, country for goals and one. One kind of 1.5 billion loan or all the long financing syndicate. And because it's been much more damaging effect long economy blow up again.